Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the world of digital infrastructure. And we are coming to you live from this very crowded uh, um, exhibition hall at Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star state of uh, we're in Austin, Austin, Texas, and I am here with somebody who uh, we quite literally roped in uh, from the uh, from the crowd behind us because he's got some very, very interesting stories to tell. We have Mr. Justin Lenoff. Justin is the Group Application Manager for Clark Energy. Did I get all that right, Justin? You got it right. Yes. Excellent. And so we um, we understand that you are um, that you are primarily focused on sustainability. Sustainability yeah. and decarbonizing industrial loads. Okay. So how do we use hybrid energy um, to decarbonize industrial loads? Obviously, it's, it's really a transition. Now, right now, there's a lot of fossil fuels used, mm -hmm. and we know there, it's not a step function to go from fossil fuels to renewable. So it's a transition, uh -huh. really, and that's where I come in. So I help develop hybrid energy solutions. Okay, so yeah. I, I love this. Um, for my own... For my own uh, um, knowledge something i've always wanted to ask somebody just like you okay um, when we started covering uh kind of green energy initiatives and sustain sustainability two three four almost five years ago um, yeah. so much of what we heard wa was a kind of a canned response everybody had to kind of have a uh, a position on sustainability okay what we're seeing now is those positions look like initiatives why don't you talk to us a little bit about clark energy and some of your initiatives and kind of your overall um thought on where we're actually going with regard to solving for, for climate issues? So um, one of the ways that you solve for climate issues is you is you you find a way to appeal to your customer, right? So um, it turns out, you know, I'll take, love solar storage, right? Mm -hmm. So solar storage is great because um, it's a really two complementary trends that are converging, right? So a decrease in storage costs. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see non-lithium alternatives coming online. They're lower cost, drive that cost down, solar costs coming on. And then modern inverter technology uh, is really, really moving rapidly right now. Yeah. So um, you have inverters that can come to, to full power in two milliseconds, Right. So, so that seems fast. It's ridiculously <laughs> fast, right? It's ridiculously fast. Um, and they're megawatt in class inverters. Yeah. These giant inverters that can just wake up as fast as a UPS, right? So not only can we deliver clean energy to a customer like a data center, but we can potentially stabilize the AC bus, mm -hmm. right? On the outside of the facility with like five nines reliability, right? We can do different things. We can, we can use hybrid energy to provide solutions for them. And that's one of the ways that we're 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 approaching this is we don't want to just um, say, hey, you know, there are a lot of, you know, I think um, incentives out there to decarbonize. Yeah. But we don't want to just run on that alone. We want to solve their problems with um, uh, renewable energy. Right. So we want to figure so, out how to do that. So how receptive? Like when you go when you go to a potential customer with that message, like we're going to solve this problem, and and in so doing, we're going to help with your you know ESG or your 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 sustainability. Initiatives. Right, right. How, how receptive are they to to that message? They're very receptive. Typically, they're very receptive, and um, and, and a lot of that you know I say they're receptive um, once they understand their options. Yeah. So um, my job at like Clark, I'm an applications vendor for for Clark, and. A lot of times customers don't understand like, hey, there are these ITCs out. Hey, there are um, these grants out. Hey, um, you have these different revenue generation um, programs that you can participate in with your utility. And this is how you participate in them. So they don't actually know how hybrid energy or microgrid can actually be used to reduce um, their CapEx and OpEx and give them like a three to four year payback. And in a lot of markets, I can do that. So obviously, California, um, Texas, that's easy. The Northeast, right? That those are easier. But even in some other markets where the incentives aren't as heavy, you can still do that, right? Because you can start clipping demand charges. You can do a lot of different things, like, for example, with storage solution and also with solar to really get them um, a payback that meets their bottom line, right? Interesting. And they just yeah. typically don't even know that. They're so like, what? 
So it's education. It's education. Like, I, yeah. I feel like that is so another thing. Education. We're talking. We talk. We're talking about AI a lot the yeah. next two days, but education has already been part of every conversation that I've had. Right. And it's not just about. Uh, it's not just about educating on your specific solution, but about educating on what and how easy it would actually be, and the incentives um, associated with employing or deploying a solution like you know, like solar or whatever it might be. Right. It's it all comes together, and it's it's you know you got to dig into their load, you got to dig into everything about their facility, and the hard the hard part about this is um, that every every site can be different. You know, mm -hmm. it's not a cookie cutter solution. Yeah, you you have to take into account everything. Do they have a thermal load? Do they need you know thermal dispatch capabilities? Is it thermally led? Um, how you know obviously what's their radiance data for the region? You have to be able to pull in all these things and 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 really distill down a solution to them that their board can digest, mm -hmm. that their CFO can digest, right? You know, so that's that's part of what you have to do. So let's talk about <laughs> CEOs and sure. let's talk about uh, boards of directors. Okay. By and large, the the people who make up those, those positions um, generally tend to be older white males. Nothing <laughs> wrong, nothing wrong with older white males. Just I'm, how it I, goes. I, 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 at 50, almost 52. Man, yeah. I, um, so, so you're you're educating uh, a a group of people who have been who have grown up in a much a, a different world. Yes. Um, so, how important is it? I promise I'm getting to my question. How important is it for folks like you, presumably yes. the yes. next generation of innovators and dreamers in our industry? How important is it for folks like you to come into the industry to help educate the decision makers who are sitting in those positions? Well, it's really important. I mean, obviously, you know, one thing I would say is the younger people, <laughs> we're going to inherit the earth. Yeah. So uh, we're technically more heavily incentivized to do this. If you actually, there's no bigger incentive. <laughs> <laughs> if you actually really think about it. Yeah. So that's one. That's that's one important thing that I've seen. Like, you know, we don't. Um, there's no room for callousness. There's no yeah. room for complacency. Love um, it. The younger you are, especially if you have children. Yeah. Um, and you want them to really have a, a future. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not a doomsday predictor in many right. ways because I really firmly believe that we can control our destiny. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, we're not, we, we can, we can solve a lot of problems, but we can control our destiny. Um, and that's what I would want to say is that you can control your destiny. Um, you can be part of the solution. Um, you don't have to sit back and think that this is unsolvable. No, you can be part of the solution. Man, yeah. Justin, that that is a really, really great message. You heard it from Justin. You can be. It's not about sitting back and and right. hoping uh, hoping that the people who sit on these boards of directors or sit in those C level positions will do it. You can do it. Right. Yeah. You can. Yes. Great. Great absolute. message. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Justin, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank and thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay connected, stay healthy, stay dreaming, and keep watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.